basically I can just take time before any intro because this is all going to get cut off. So, <laughs> I hate how all my videos usually start like this. Welcome to the first episode of Night in the Woods with Julie. Hello everyone, I'm Yunjay's roommate. So this first episode we're going to try without the camera because this is like a very story driven game and thought it would be a little bit of a distraction. Also, this game has a really good environment and I don't want to obstruct any of the view. So without any further ado, we will start the new game. Let's go. Yay. In the year Grandad died. So we get to choose what happened. We had the worst flood since 1998. Greg got trapped on top of a doghouse. The power was out for two days. Casey Hartley came by in his dad's boat, and I laughed when I saw him. Granddad left me an apple crate of books. He loved ghost stories, and quoted them to himself in the hospital bed. They went looking for the gods, and died in lonely places. On his last day, he sat up suddenly, and started, stared bug-eyed through the window at the old trains, rattling to somewhere else, from somewhere else. He turned to my dad, eyes still wide. This house is haunted, he said, and died. Amazing. <laughs> I would literally be so traumatized if someone said, this house is haunted, and, and, died and then right died. There. Well, this is great. I mean, I didn't expect a party or anything, but I figured someone would be here. <laughs> Welcome home, May. If you can't tell, I'm pretty bad at changing my voice. Garbo and Malloy! Welcome back to Garbo and Malloy. What's in the news today, Malloy? Markets were up today. Way up. Huh. I'm looking at the chart, it's pretty impressive. The economy added 15,000 jobs, mostly in the chart sector, which is notoriously recession proof. I love how the dog's voice keeps changing. <laughs> right? <laughs> my, my, Garbo, we got a little political there. Okay, I gotta decide on this guy, what he's gonna be. <laughs> it's too late. I won one of those internet dates last week. Oh? Yeah, the internet is a cr truly giving lover. That, like, went Way it. changing. <laughs> I like it, though. Oh. Hey, any lovely ladies out there looking for an eligible bachelor? Get in touch. And I'll let you know if I find one. <laughs> I love how he just, like, stares into the screen. <laughs> like, what? Look at the schedule. Okay, let's talk to you. He's the janitor of this place, as you see. Excuse me, but where is everybody? It's 10.45. It's closed. Not a lot of folk getting off the last bus to Possum Springs these days. Just you. Mm. Looks that way. What do you do? I fix this door. That's it? Nope. So whenever there's a dialogue box, you can continue to talk if you want to, but in this case, you kind of have to, to progress. Because he's the only one here? Yes. <laughs> can I squeeze past you? Nope. Just broke the damn thing. When do you think it might be done? Right after you go grab me a fiasco from the machine. Am I paying for this? I always rig it when I'm here after hours. Nice. Free as in free? Free as in no one's here to say otherwise. Sweet. I'm gonna go. So in these kind, so like a lot of times you'll see an eye, which means she has something to say. If you keep looking at it, it has more options to read. Nice. So for this, Wow, when did they put this up? Possum Springs has never looked more... 
falsely advertised. I mean, there's a flying train. Oh yeah, it's flying. <laughs> it's a flying train. Visitors are gonna be so let down when they see the actual town. Prepare to be disappointed, ye who enter here. Our town motto. <laughs> It must be such a relief to payphone companies that Possum Springs get zero cell reception. It'd be cool to call my parents, but some jerk hole took the time to actually rip it off. Who steals a phone? I guess some jerk hole. But is that... yeah. I guess they just decided. What the? They have Lime Fiasco and he wants Fiascola? That's just a waste. A little jingle whenever you get a get a soda. Okay, just gotta grab it. Cute. Do I want it? Yes. Do, do it. Okay. I mean, you want to leave this place? What if I don't, Yunjo? <laughs> you want to stay in the station? Maybe I just want to talk to the janitor. So there's more eyes, which means she has more to say if you want to read them or not. Oh, so. So like, you can keep reading until it says it's not there anymore. Gotcha. Stay forest up top. Regular forest everywhere else. Woods, woods, woods. Look at that minecart. That's all long gone. Was this made by a time traveler? Oh, and now there's nothing. Yeah. Left. Gotcha. So this one. I wonder what they're doing with that phone. Sleeping with it at night? Taking it out for walks? Holding it tight, talking into it, to nobody. Smooching it so right. A phone. <laughs> Standing on top of everything. Okay. One free ass cola. Free ass cola instead of. Free ass cola. Oh. I mean, that's one way to open it. Yummers. So what are you doing here? I forgot how he sounded like. So what are you doing here? <laughs> I live here. Well, lived here. Huh, strange. When do you think that door is going to be finished? No. Goodbye. Uh, bye. I wonder uh, if anything changed. Can I still get something? No. I don't like that he won't let you take a drink for your own. Right? <laughs> he rigged it. Why not just take one for yourself? That's what I'm saying. Looks like little eyes. Yeah. Ooh. I'm not walking back out to the highway. Probably get hit by a car or something. Hey, where did that janitor go? Did he walk? To the highway? I don't know. Okay. Bus stacks. Well, I'm right outside town. Mom and Dad nowhere to be found. Dark and cold. Guess I'm walking. Alone. These buggers. Stop following me! <laughs> they like following you. This bus station is maybe the newest thing in Possum Springs. Guess they got state funding or something. It makes a good for a good first first or last impression, I suppose. If not for the abandoned glass factory back there, not getting rid of that anytime soon. More bugs. <laughs> wow. I didn't realize how much I missed the sound of that train. I used to hear it in my bed at night. During the winter when the leaves were down. I thought there was more to say. <laughs> oh, yeah, it sounded like I was gonna go on. Well, I guess I'm gonna hike through the woods. Into the woods. <laughs> through the woods is home. My bed. And my negligent <laughs> parents. Because they never bothered to come. <laughs> hey, it's a night in the woods. In the woods. It's a light in oh. the woods. Oh, 
This is some dank nature. Dank nature and garbage. Are these food donkey shopping carts? That's all the way across town. That's dedication. I want to go to a food donkey. What is a food donkey? I guess like a grocery store. Why would they name it food donkey? They're animals. That's true. It's like calling it like... Like from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody by Paul Revere Mini Mart. That's true. I don't know why I thought of Disney job. <laughs> Cute. There used to be an old sawmill around here, I think. I mean, the park up there is called Sawmill Park. Looks like they lost the log load at some point. Sigh. Gonna have to climb this, I guess. Shopping bags are little ghosts of grocery stores. Haunting everywhere else. Yes. That's so true, though. It is. Oh wow, I heard a toad. And a ghost owl. I bet there are any number of potential witch familiars down here. <laughs> I don't know why I read that as a herd of toads. Are you okay, Yoon Jae? <laughs> oh wow, a herd of toads. <laughs> Her eyes got bigger. Oh my god. That was dangerous. I could have died. That was amazing. I am not gonna die in this hole. That's the spirit. Now you made a path to go. Class of 99. Jump, buddy, jump. I wish I could be like Link and just like roll everywhere. Oh. <laughs> wow, I haven't been here in maybe 10 years, and apparently no one else has. Ooh. Music. That's not creepy or haunting or anything. <laughs> I don't know what they were going here for. Some sort of boat castle? Most of it's gone now. Just a thing for weird animals to eat and have babies in. Yes, give me more insight. I wonder what kind of weird animals have babies in there. Dirt possums, night snakes, mystery beasts of all shapes. I remember Kathy Dam Damonco's boyfriend took her here to make out and then break up. That's so mean. <laughs> and then the next day, Kathy pulled out Cindy Clark's nose ring at the Fort Lucene Mall. This entire area is so full of romance. <laughs> It definitely is. I think I'm done with that. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to read more. But I want to jump on it. There's an octopus. Yes, there is. Ahoy! Can I climb on this? Well, you can read it. Oh, looks like the ladder's gone. So no. <laughs> Cry. If I could just get to the top of this thing. Ugh. So, you see... Oh. I could never make it up onto that tree when I was a kid. The number logs mocked me. The logs and the other kids. Let me see if I can visualize this. Alright. Can't stop running while I do this. Not even for a second. Gotta have enough momentum. I think I can do it. Run and jump, jump, jump. Wow, they actually changed this before. They didn't tell you anything about triple jump. So you have to kind of figure it out. So like, if you do three consecutive jumps, the third jump is higher. Oh, okay. So I literally can't stop. So like, start from the boat. One eternity later. You can do this. <laughs> cool beans. I just want to go to the top. I bear. I definitely remember barely reaching the top of this wheel. I definitely remember barely growing since then. <laughs> hey, that's just like me in real life. Oh man. 411 all the way. There we go. Thank you, EJ. It's only been two years since I've lived here. Not in this playground. Possum Springs, I mean. This is all getting jumbled. I should write it down. So now you have a journal. Rip, granddad. That's so sad. 
So every time you, you're going to see in like the bottom corner, like a little scribble sound in the notebook, it's when you add something to your journal to look at. Makes sense. Can I jump on this line? Yep. Let's go! Every time you jump, you hear like a little pluck sound. Pluck. Wait, try it. Nice. Like a guitar string. Jump! Oh. <laughs> Awkward. Oh man, it's been a while. Oh, she's it's a she cop. If you okay, I can do that. Wanna, <clears throat> take two. Hello, May. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hello, May. It's been a while. Yes. Hey, what are you doing out here? Nothing better to do? I was out here doing my rounds and I saw you in the very off limits playground. So? Get in the car, May. No. You want to spend the first night back in jail, May? No. Yeah, <laughs> she has to sound like this from now. Always watching, Mike Wazowski. <laughs> <laughs> You could have given me a heart attack. Good. What are you doing? Oh. May, honey, we thought you were coming tomorrow night. You thought wrong. How did you get here? He sounds like the other guy from earlier. It's okay. I walked until I got arrested by Aunt Mall Cop. Oh, did you say hi to Molly for me? Nah, that sounds bad. No! I say hi for no one. F the cops. I'm going to bed. Is my bed still here? Or are we waiting for tomorrow night for that too? Ah, oh, May, so good to hear that voice again. Good night. So that scribble means... You that looks older. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. Oh. That's Hello. your kitchen, there, dining area. So many cats. So, hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Do you want to be the dad or do you want to be the mom? I'm going to be the mom. Oh, no. That's your room. I wanted to explore. What is here? There are a few things hanging around in here from the old country. This clock, the trunk in the storage room, and whatever is buried under the house after the cement incident. The cement incident? Alright. Oh. Oh. Opposite way, Mubby. Just keep opening and closing the door. Ugh. Since when is the crawl space all jammed up? I wonder if dad could move them. Yeah, dad put them in here, I bet. Dad should move them. It's only fair. I mean, she's, she's not wrong. It's true. If you put it there, you gotta take it out. Anything on the side? Oh. Yes, you can jump up there. Oh. Oh. Huh. Okay. They put the cover on the bird cage so the bird can sleep. That makes sense. That's nice of them. That is like the most real sleeping. I feel this to my soul.